voyage to the moon. It is the 15th of July, 1969. The eve of Apollo 11. The technicians at Cape Kennedy are making their final preparations. Preparations for a flight that only a decade before seemed a fantasy. But through the efforts of leaders like Werner von Braun and thousands of technicians, once again, fantasy has been transformed into reality. The Saturn V rocket. Control fathers celebrate the delivery. There is a man on the moon over Alabama and another on the streets of Huntsville. He tells a friend he must be in Washington tomorrow. The flag he holds must next be planted on Mars. Having won the race to the moon, and with America embroiled in an expensive, unpopular war, the budget for space exploration is cut in favor of programs of more immediate earthly needs. It means that the Apollo program would be reduced from 23 projected lunar missions to 17. And it means that the fulfillment of Ron Brown's dream of man flight to Mars and beyond would belong to another generation. and delighted to have with us Dr. Von Brown's family. Mrs. Von Brown, 
with their two daughters, Iris and Margaret, and their son, Peter. They came to Huntsville to follow the leader. Now they have come to say goodbye. The world looks upon Bernard von Braun as a great scientist. So do we. But we look upon him as a neighbor who has been one of us.